Breaking tonight, Texas Attorney General Greg Abbott now demanding that Houston city officials withdraw subpoenas that they issued for five local pastors now being questioned about the sermons that they are making. Todd Starnes is a Fox News radio host. He broke this story and he has the details tonight. Todd. Yeah, that's right, Megan. Looks like the mayor got her hand caught in the religious liberty cookie jar on this one. Uh, we know that five pastors in the Houston area were uh, handed these subpoenas and the, the city was specifically looking for all of their correspondence with their parishioners, their congregations, letters, emails, text messages, but even more than Confessionals. that. Confessionals. I mean, it's like. <laughs> even more than that, the sermons themselves and they specifically were looking for sermons sermons where the pastors talked about homosexuality, gender identity issues, and the mayor herself. So that's uh, that's where we're well, at is, here. She is openly gay. The mayor is openly gay, and she is fiercely supportive of this uh, non-discrimination ordinance that was passed by the city council. But the religious community there has a problem with a component of this ordinance that allows men who identify as women to use the restroom of their choice and vice versa. And that's where the uh, a number of the religious people in that community had, had an issue. All right, so they challenged it in court, and or they, they, want it, they want another vote on it. They're saying, no, this isn't, we don't like that part of the right. ordinance. Right, they want another vote, and so there was a lawsuit filed, and in the process of discovery, the city went after these pastors who were not even party to this lawsuit and demanded that they turn over this information. And what's very interesting is just a few moments ago, the attorney general weighed in, and we do know that the subpoenas have not been rescinded, but a Texas attorney general, Greg Abbott, just released a statement and he is demanding that the city of Houston rescind those subpoenas. And he says the people of Houston and their religious leaders must be absolutely secure in the knowledge that their religious affairs are beyond the reach of the government. And he called what they did a direct assault on religious liberty, Megan. I, I think that's written into the Constitution somewhere. Todd, thank you. Thanks.